Stare me with Bolt. So I wear a lot of hats, and um, it gets a lot of dirt, grime, sweat, skin, all that nasty stuff. Um, so, you know, when I'm working, I go like this a lot, put my hat back on, sweat, working out, running, whatever. So today, we want to use Bolt and uh, clean that up. So, uh, what you'll do when you get your bottle, you'll take the lid off, and there's going to be a little sealer protector on there. Just pop that off. And um, I'd say about a cap full to six ounces of water. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this brush today um, just to get down inside of there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get it kind of wet. Now, this brush might be a little bit too much on this. Might be fraying it. So we might have to go to, oh yeah, you can see it there. This brush is, this brush is gonna fray the heck out of that. So we're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna go with our soft brush. I had a feeling that that might be an issue, but I wanted to see it just in case. So we're gonna go ahead and use our soft brush. We're just going to do it the same way we would if we were cleaning the shoe. Get that nice and frothy. So if you're doing this and you feel like you need a little bit more, you can always just squeeze a little more into the water and mix it around. It's not going to hurt anything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to continue doing what we're doing. When you're done, you can uh, you can take your rag, a little microfiber towel that comes with it, and just kind of push in and twist at the same time. What that's going to do is it's going to pick up a lot of that dirt that was getting moved around by the brush. You don't really want to go like this because then all you'll do is smear the smear it around. So. So yeah, you can see it's starting to pick up that dirt. That was a lot dirtier than I thought it was, so. You can kind of see there, I haven't really worked a whole lot at it, but you can see the difference between the two. Um, we'll still do back here on the back side and up here around the edge of the hat. So if you're hat collectors or you just don't want, want to throw your hat in the dishwasher or the laundry, you want to do it by hand, this is a great way to clean your hat and preserve it without damaging it. I thought that this little brush right here would have been a good one, but it's just uh, it's too abrasive. So our bolt brush which is a synthetic hog hair. None of our products are tested on animals at all. Um, and we don't use any type of animal product in any of our chemicals or any of our products. All right, so there's that. It looks much better now. So we'll make sure that we get the front cleaned up. We don't want it to uh, look funky with the water on there, so we'll just and clean it up and so now that we've got the hat clean I'm going to go ahead and help the drying process along. I've got a heat gun here to just act like a blow dryer and uh, dry the hat out.
All right, well, it's pretty much dry, it's still wet, a little bit of an area here. Um, but what you can do is just take your, take your rag and just kind of pick up that excess if your rag is dry. So, um, but as you can see, there's no color fading, no blotching, um, and uh, that's really white back up in here. So, um, you know, if you want it real white, you can work on a little bit more, but um, just to show you the difference between the two, um, you know, that's a, that's a really big difference. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe below. If you have any questions, you can reach us at boltshoecleaner.com or you can contact us by going to support at boltshoecleaner.com and uh, we can help you out there as well. Uh, any other questions, you can comment below. And um, again, please subscribe and uh, thanks for watching.